Hello everybody, thank you very much for watching my video. Today I'm going to do a little uh, video on uh, the Turkish Mauser, uh, the uh, bayonets for the 1890 and the 1903. And behind the bayonets is the 1893 Turkish Mauser, of course the uh, conversion that happened in the uh, 1930s. Uh, what I want to talk about here is something that uh, I haven't seen any videos of this. Um, but there's a lot of forums and um, internet pages regarding all this. And of course, the consensus is, what the hell are they saying on these damn things? Um, there are some people who have been able to decipher that they are the names of companies. Uh, I believe that I've seen two, I think I've seen two different ones on the internet. Uh, I believe somebody out there said that there was three different ones. And... Uh, the one I did find that uh, uh, um, I can definitely tell you the name of is the Bausch, what is it called? Uh, the well, Weyersberg, Weyersberg Kirschbaum und Che, which is and company uh, in Sologen. So that's basically one of them. And uh, I'm not sure which one I have, but anyway, my interest in this was that uh, even though people are saying that there's different scripts on these, a couple of different things, um, I kind of see all three of these having the same script, except they are written down in different uh, different forms a little bit. Um, they are obviously um, Arabic is written from right to left. We write you know from and read from left to right now what I was able to figure out was that the language that was being used generally is called the Osmanli language and basically Osmanli means Ottoman and so it was Ottoman Turk is what they would always say in those days from uh, about the 15th century I believe is what I read up until 1928 and what Osmanli the language what it was was if I re read it correctly, it was a mixture of Turk, Arabic, and Persian. And remember that Arabic uh, Persians are not Arabs. They are not a people that we call the Arabs, and it's a different language. So it was kind of a mixture of all three. And uh, though the Turks did write uh, their alphabet in uh, in Arab in Turkish Arabic. Anyway, it's, everybody has a hard time finding answers for this. You'll see questions, a million questions, the same thing. What does it say? What does it say? And pretty much nobody really 100% knows. So anyway, I'm going to throw in my two cents here. Anyway, um, that's the difficulty of this language. So this one on the right. So I'm going to show you this picture here that I found on this uh, Cornet, C-O-R-N-E-T, um, Antiques. And uh, what you see here is the, um, it's going to be the 1903 model. Now, this down here is 1322. So this is 1322. When you convert it, it means uh, 1904. So I suppose the year that the bayonet was made is on script here. My bayonet says 1321, which is 1903. But my other bayonet, my 1890, actually has a date of um, 19 or 1891. So that's why I'm coming to the conclusion that they don't have the model number date, but they have the manufacturing date. Okay, so what I'm going to show you here is that this here is, I believe, exactly other than the date. Everything else here is exactly what's on my two bayonets and I believe also on my 1893 Turkish Mauser. So let's begin with this big E here. And I want you to take a look at that. Here's a like a dot here. Then you got this kind of like W with the three dots and the two dots. Now the difference between mine is that mine, and you'll see it, there's a line that goes this way. So that could change completely the... Uh, the, the the word itself um, remember we are translating they are translating German because 
it does supposedly from what everyone is saying it does say manufactured the company that it manufactured manufactured or fabric in fabricated in so these guys here are translating german and then we are then translating to english so it's kind of like a big old big old swirl of, of languages and uh you know which language uses what words and here in america we don't use fabricated in we use made in um, and so we have to understand those kinds of things so that uh, we better um, can translate things so anyway you've got the big e you've got the w you've got this funky looking five which is like an s you've got this loop de loop here here you've got this squiggly line here with a dot You've got this six here, and you've got these exclamation points. <laughs> I know they're not exclamation points, but that's what they look like to me in the comma. Okay, so I'm just trying to be humorous here. Now, this squiggly line here, or this S here, I believe it's this one actually, that is the word for fabric or fabricated. In, and, but again, this is in 18, or 1903, so instead of it being linear, they had to cut it and put it below each other um, because it just didn't fit the whole thing didn't fit across uh, on, on the on the mauser itself uh, you'll see it a little bit better but um, anyway you keep looking at these you can always come back to the video and look at it so let's look at my 1903 bayonet let's zoom in okay and if you'll see there is the big E, the exclamation point with the uh, with the comma down here. Here's the six. Here's a loop de loop. Here is the squiggly line with the dots, manufactured in or something like that. Fabric. Here's the five or the S, and it looks a little bit different than the the one in the in the picture. And um, here's that W. With those dots on top and like i said mine shows this long line uh the picture did not show it on theirs mine says one three two one so 1321 and that uh if i translated it correctly it means uh uh 1903 so the bayonet the picture um that you just saw also had this line here and uh, it's a little hard to see all the dots that are on here but you see a couple here a couple here um anyway it did have all these on it okay um hopefully just go back and look at the picture itself and you'll see now here is the 1890 model bayonet and again here we have the big the big e with the dots on top here's a w okay it does look a little bit different but it does have that line whether it was supposed to be attached or not, I don't know. Here is the squiggly line again with the two dots underneath it, or is it one dot? Here's like an exclamation point. Here's that six again. Here's that funky S or five here with the two little dots on top. Here is the uh, loop-de-loop and all these other, here, this is the date down here, one, three, zero, nine. So mine comes out to 18, built in 1891. So I believe that these two are the same. They have the same script. It's just, you know, a little bit difficult to see that. But I do believe that they are. They do have the same script. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this Turkish Mauser here. Oh, and uh, real quickly now, let's take a look at this Turkish Mauser. Now, in both bayonets, you'll see the... Where are you? The Sultan's Mark. Now the Sultan was uh, Abdul Hamid II, and he reigned from about 1874 till 1909, I believe it was. And uh, where are you, camera? Okay, so here's another date. I believe that was 170, looks like 33 to me. 17033, I believe that's a seven, the V, it's a seven. 17033 and on the 1890 here we go again with the um, 
was that Sultan's Mark? Okay, the Sultan's Mark. Okay, I don't see a serial number here or on the other side. It's a little bit too uh, rusty there. But anyway, so we're going to take a look at uh, the Turkish uh, 1893. And you see that nice big, big old Star of David over here. Ah, uh -huh. okay, it's not the Star of David, I know. But uh, on my 1903, you can see it right there also. And I don't know what this mark is, I forget. It's so difficult to get good information, but hopefully my little video here will, eh, you know, it's for entertainment purposes and a little bit of educational purposes, so let's not get too excited. Um, so here we go again with the, the big old W, right? There's a big old W. There's uh there's that six again. There's the little loop de loop with the dots and of course a big old ginormous S or the five and then of course the squiggly line which like I said I believe this squiggly line means fabric, fabricated in. And mine says 1313, which comes out to 1895. So that's why these receivers, um, you technically, these are technically antiques. They're not curio and relics because the original um, manufacturing date of the receiver was pre-1898. But because of the conversion, people are like, ah, it says 1930-something, so yeah, you need an FFL or a CNR. Anyway, I believe that my bayonets and my... Um, there's that six. Oh, big old ginormous finger. There's that six, so there's these, all these dots here. So, and unfortunately, of course, since I have the conversion... I am missing a quite a big chunk from uh, the thumb, the thumb assist part. Anyway, um, so uh, if you want to chime in, um, please do so. If you know something else, please tell me. Um, this is just fascinating stuff for me. It's interested. Unfortunately, it's so difficult um, to find stuff and people who know, even websites that have wonderful pictures and so much information, even they're like, um, um, they, they never tell you this, this letter is this, this letter is that, this letter is this, this letter is that. None of them do that. None of them. So, um, if you do know something, then, um, uh, let us all know. Uh, I'm sure there's more than one person who'd be interested besides me. So until next time, um, take care.